I'm delighted to say with me now is the man responsible for the original What's Happening at the Club, Eric Samuelson, Chief Executive. What's been happening at the uh, Football League meeting though this week? All right, um, well I'm not there. Uh, I've uh, instead I've sort of staged a minor coup and taken back my old office uh, because Joe Palmer, the Chief Operating Officer, and David Charles, Club Secretary and Operations Director, are representing the club. Um, there's been some changes, you may have seen them on the website. Uh, one of the most significant changes is, I think, um, no seeding in the League Cup, the Carabao Cup. Um, so in year eight we might possibly get a game and get our first ever win in it. We certainly uh, have a chance of getting another home game, that'll be two out of eight. Uh, what else has been changed? There's, there's all sorts of basic regulations which are important but a little bit tedious to sit through to be honest. Um, so I'm glad that David and Joe are bearing the brunt of that. Stuff around collecting money from other clubs on time, all that sort of stuff. You're here this week, but of course your main objective at the moment is Plough Lane, the transition getting back to there now. Um, it's coming along well, is it? Yes, I was at, uh, on Tuesday this week, I was at a coordination meeting which was attended by Merton Catalyst, which is the merger of um, Catalyst Housing Agency and Galliard, the, the joint venture. Um, Treble Seven, the people who are clearing the site, um, uh, Wandel Housing and, and various others, and of course us. And the feedback is that the site clearance, which you'll have seen pictures on the website yesterday, is going well. It's a, a bit behind target, but not, not a big way. And the target date for transfer, clearance of the land completely and transfer of the land remains October. In the new stadium itself, you're excited about how that's coming along, right? Yeah, I always say I don't do excited, but I'm in danger of getting excited over this. Uh, yes, uh, yesterday I was at a meeting with the GLA talking through, we, we want to make some changes to the stadium design, nothing dramatic. And they asked, honestly, things like rounding off corners, um, uh, that sort of stuff, one or two rather bigger things, but nothing fundamental. And to do that, you need to go through a planning process. The original planning, just to reassure people, the original planning application is in the bank, can't be changed, can't be taken away, but the variation application is due to go in, uh, I think, towards the end of the month, with a view to getting it cleared through in time for when we're really getting going on building the stadium. Meantime, of course, the Cherry Red Record Stadium remains our home. We've had volunteers down doing the first tidy up weekend. Um, what sort of changes are we expecting here for the, for the coming season? It's well, it's not a change, but I think the most noticeable thing when you come in is the quality of the pitch. We're four weeks and a day away from the first home pre-season friendly of the season and it looks uh, it looks spectacular. It looks really, really good. Um, if you'd been around earlier you'd have seen there's still uh, volunteers, perhaps haven't been told to go home yet, from the um, painting from the work weekend and there are about 60 odd people I think over that weekend came in doing all sorts of stuff, sprucing the place up, making it feel right because it is still our stadium as you rightly say. We want it to look as good as it possibly can until the day we hand it over to Chelsea. On to the subject of players, players we've made contract offers to new players. Any movement on that at all? Uh, it's frustrating, isn't it? I mean, yes, there's a lot of movement, but there's no final uh, deals done. Um, we've talked to a fair number of clubs, a lot of agents, some players. Uh, there are some offers out there at the moment. Um, but, you know, when you're a player in demand, and there's, those are obviously the ones we'd prefer, then we really want... Um, you can afford to wait and see, well, is this the offer I really want? And, and there's no urgency. Um, certainly in July, that first is a date when people begin to think perhaps I should be signing something for the security of it, but there's no great urgency um, on their part. So all we can do is make our offers, keep looking for the players where we're still looking for positions and expect that when they do come, they'll come in twos and threes rather than just occasional one. June the 21st is the uh, fixture release date. Yeah. You've got your eye on uh, a couple of dates in particular with your hometown club Sunderland as possible opposition of course this season now? Well, definitely opposition, uh, unless something I don't know about has changed. Um, yes, I, I, it's a long story so I won't tell it here, but I ended up going to the final home game of the season on the Sunday uh, up in Sunderland and uh, I was thinking, yeah, this is quite a big stadium, so I looked it up, 49,000. If they have a good run this season, and, and they ought to, then I can see we'll probably be playing in front of our biggest crowd since Wembley up there. And it'd be a delight for me to go home, um, but I know where my loyalties lie. Uh, with us, um, us being Wimbledon, let's be absolutely clear. Uh, I just dread the fact that there's two games this season I have to miss. Please don't let Sunderland be one of them. But we'll see. It's outside my control.
And in terms of the league, how it's shaping up for next season, it's, it's going to be another tough league, isn't it? It is. I was at a meeting, another meeting yesterday, with um, the feedback on the audit of our academy, uh, where we, we passed the, the audit, I'm pleased to say. Obviously some recommendations, but we, we passed and did well. Um, and at the end, you're talking to football people, so you move on to what's going on in, in the football world. And they were saying, you know, of the 24 clubs in League One, probably 20 are really looking with, a, with an eye on promotion. It's going to be a tougher league than last year. We've given Neil some more money from last year to try and make sure we're competitive, but it's going to be, well, when it's tough, it's exciting and challenging, isn't it? And that's the way to look at it, be positive. It is, of course, still summer. It is June. Um, yep. It's cricket time as well. Are you going to get time for a bit of cricket over the summer? Yeah, although I'm not sure if summer's the word. I've bought tickets for every day of the um, Oval Test match against India. We're members of the Oval. Uh, I'll be passing the tickets on to a family member for the for the Saturday because obviously, presumably, we'll have a game on the Saturday and I'll be there. But yeah, I really enjoy my cricket, particularly Test match cricket, which I know is some people see as the old phobies uh, game, but I, I think it's the best form of the game. And I'm really looking forward to, well, hopefully, a, a competitive test that lasts more than three days for the other.